apagué. Este sí lo ve. Oh, no. Sí. So. Come here, Bob. Place. No. Place. Good. Kennel up. Kennel up. Come on. No. Kennel up. He knows when the camera's on. So he's been doing this, just dragging his leash and doing pretty good, except for going directly back and forth from crate to place is hard for him, especially if I don't put a break or a let's go in between them. Um, so that's the reason I held on to the leash, but right now he actually seems to be kind of str struggling with everything. So I'm going to continue to hang on to it and give him guidance for a little bit um, and see if I can just working through that place see so he just stands there so maybe confusion maybe he doesn't want to go but I think it's confusion I'm gonna add the stim place good good boy so that's a great example of a situation where you really have to read the dog and so I added the stim and repeated the command with some body language he started to take a step forward, but it was a hesitant step. I still let go of the button because I wanted to show him in that, yes, you're doing the right thing. And it worked. Okay. I can also hold it down until he gets there. And there's no right or wrong way to do that. Um, but I try to read the situation and use whatever I think is going to be the most efficient way of getting him to see what I want. Good boy. Kennel up. Stim. Kennel up. I'm going to increase stim. Kennel up. Good. I'm trying really hard not to pull him around with the leash because at this point in the game he knows this stuff and he really shouldn't need me to pull the leash so it's easy to get stuck there just pulling the dog around with a leash. Um, I'll give him help if he needs it, but I really want to try to leave that as the last resort. Place. Place. Good. So I've increased my stim now too, and that's helping. That really seems to be getting him moving, which is what I care about the most, is that he's trying and putting in effort rather than just sitting there apathetically not trying anything. So if he's putting in effort, then I'll help him if he needs help. But he's going to try. <laughs> hey, get out of here. Oh, no, 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 kitty. Go ahead. Let's go. Good boy. Down. Good job. Good job. Kennel up. Good. Good boy. Place. Place. Yeah. So if I repeat it a second time, I'm adding the stim. I'm on a 13 for reference. Uh, and that seems to be a good enough number to get him moving. Good boy. Now this one's hard for him. Kennel up. Come on. Yeah, good boy. 
boy. That was pretty good, actually. Good job. Place. Good. Doing much better. Very good boy. But see, he wants to like stay there and hang out and take a nap, and I think that's why getting him back into the kennel is hard. He's like, wow, oh, I'm really comfy here. <laughs> kennel up. Stim. Kennel up. Good. So I repeated the command, added Stim, and he made that turn into the kennel beautifully. So just these drills to cement everything that we've taught, uh, not everything, but these basic inside commands that we use a lot. Uh, just repeat, 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 and mixing them up so the dog really has to think and use their brain um, to think about the words that we're saying and what they mean in terms of the behavior we want them to do. Um, and mixing them up with breaks and let's goes, and sometimes there is and sometimes there isn't. Sometimes we go right from one command to another. Let's go. Down. Down. So that was just a little tap, and it was a tap at a six, because I turned it down, because I, I know that laying down is not as hard for him as going from these two the crate in the place. Good boy. Place. Good. And you can see he thought for a second about going into the kennel. And he, I just let him process and he figured it out on his own. I didn't do anything. Good boy. Very good boy.